In this video, we are going to solve rational equations. Now, just a bit of review. When we say solving an equation, that means finding a value for x that will satisfy that equation. A value for x that will make the, the equation a correct statement. So, you know, for example, if our equation is, say, 2x uh, minus 1 is equal to uh, 0, if that's our equation, then the solution to that equation would be x equals x equals 1 half, right? So if we plug in um, x equals 1 half for x, right? So that means uh, 2 times 2 times 1 half minus 1 equals 0, right? And then you can cancel out 2. What's left is 1 minus 1 equals 0. So indeed, that is a true statement. So that's how you solve equations. So let's uh, go to our first example for rational equations. Okay. So for our first example, so we have 2 over x minus 3 over 2x equals 1 over 5. Now, we can already see the difference between the equation that we solved earlier uh, with this equation, namely that this involves rational expressions, right? So this is called a rational equation. So how do we solve rational equations? So very simple steps. And the first step is to find the LCD, right? To find the LCD. Now, what does LCD mean, right? So LCD, the LCD is the least common denominator, right? So we will write out all the common denominators in um, in our terms, right? So these are our terms. So we will write out the common denominators in all of those terms. So the first denominator is x, so we need to write x. Now, in the second denominator, you'll see number 2, right? You'll see 2. Now, 2 is a denominator, so we need also to write 2 in our LCD. So that's x times 2. And then you need to look at the next uh, variable, which is x, right? But then we already wrote x, right? We already wrote x, so we need not write x again because we are after the least common denominator, right? So since x is already, say, common, meaning uh, we already wrote x, so we don't need to write x again. So just leave x there. And then the last denominator is 5. Well, we haven't uh, wrote 5 yet, so we need to put 5 in our LCD. And so our LCD is x times 2 times 5. That gives us 10x. So our LCD is 10x. Now, the next thing that we want to do is, well, what are we going to do with the LCD, right? What's the purpose? Why do we need to find the LCD? Well, we find, uh, we, 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 uh, the purpose of finding the LCD is we need to multiply that LCD to both sides of the equation because that will eliminate the denominators. Okay, so if we multiply 10x to both sides of our equation, so that means so 10x... Um, times uh, 2 over x minus 3 over 2x equals uh, 1 over 5 times 10x, right? So we multiply the LCD to both sides of our equation. So that will give us, so uh, you can already see that we can distribute, can distribute 10x here, right? That will give us what? That will give us 10x times 2 over x minus 10x times 3 over 2x equals uh, 1 fifth times 10x. Okay? And then we can simplify. Now we can cancel out. We can cancel out x, right? So we're left with 20. And then here, we can also cancel out x, right? And then you have... 10 times 3, which is 30, then divided by 2 is 15. So that's 15 equals 1 fifth times 10x. Well, we can divide 10 by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. So that gives us 2x. And then we can simplify. So this will give us, let me write in this portion. So that will give us 20 minus 15 is 5. 
equals 2x. And then we can isolate x by dividing both sides by 2. So divide both sides by 2. Cancel out. And then we can write this as x equals 5 over 2. And this is the solution to our rational equation. So this number will make the equation a true statement. Now, how do we check if we got the right answer? Okay, so to check, we just need to substitute x to the x's in our equation. Okay, so we'll substitute 5 over 2 here. So instead of writing x, we'll write 5 over 2. Okay, let's do that. So that gives us 2 divided by 5 over 2 and then minus minus 3 divided by 2 times 5 over 2 equals oops sorry let me change color right so equals 1 over 5 and let's see if this is indeed a correct statement so how do we uh, simplify this one right so we can do simplify that one by saying well I have a numerator that is 2 but I can write that as 2 over 1 right so I can write 2 as 2 over 1 and then I'm dividing I'm dividing by 5 over 2 now how do you divide fractions well you multiply you multiply it with the reciprocal the reciprocal of 5 over 2 what's the reciprocal of 5 over 2 the reciprocal of 5 over 2 is 2 over 5 okay and then minus we can cancel out 2 and that gives us 3 over 5 okay? that gives us 3 over 5 now is that equal to 1 fifth well we don't know yet let's see so we have 2 times 2 that's 4 that's 4 over 5 minus 3 over 5 now is that equal to 1 over 5 okay let's simplify the left side so the left side is what so you have a common denominator 5 so that's 5 then 4 minus 3 equals 1 over 5 and obviously that is a correct statement so that's how you know that your solution is correct